The proposed Jumbo Glacier Resort would require a 30 to 40 kilometer highway to be constructed, here shown in red, and a rebuild of the road from Panorama to Invermere shown in blue. I fear the government will allow a substandard road that we will have to upgrade, or in worst case, we will build the highway to the proposed resort, which I will now refer to as the White Elephant. This topo map shows elevations above 8,000 feet in red. X marks the town site. 1, 2, and 3 are different ski areas. A May the 14th, 2012 article in McLean's magazine tells of hundreds of golf courses that have gone bankrupt and the devastation to the real estate that depended on them. Quote, most of these golf courses were built to sell real estate with very little due diligence as to whether the golf courses could survive on their own. That must also apply to ski hills. So is there a real opportunity for successful development here? We'll examine the proposal in detail. Incidentally, there's already been two assessments the first, a collaboration between Snow Engineering of Belleville, Washington, and Iris Environmental Services of Banff. The conclusion was very critical of all aspects of the proposals. Copy can be had from Environmental Assessment Office, Project Registry, First Floor, 8368th Street, Victoria, B.C., V8V1X4. The second assessment of economic benefits done by Marvin Schaefer and Associates for the Tanaha Nation, again negative. This photo shows village location with gondola access to the major ski area on the north side of these mountains. Pictured is the south side of the massive. Notice the cliffs that would prevent skiing back to the village. This photo shows west side of the massive with continuous cliffs that would prevent skiing back to the village. Any mechanical or power failure would strand skiers with possible fatal consequences during harsh winter conditions. This photo shows approximate route of the gondola marked in X from the village to the top of Karnak. As well shows proposed ski lifts from the promotional brochure. This photo shows reality, the real route, about three and a half kilometers, and the terrain to be overcome. We will first examine the proposal in Area 1. Notice three ski lifts. This photo of Glacier Dome shows approximate location of the three lifts. All are constructed on moving ice. The bottoms of the lifts are on ice, hanging over cliffs. The intermediate towers are on moving crevassed ice. Is this feasible? Karnak, Jumbo, and Commander Mountains are on the skyline. Again, promotional location of ski lifts. Notice gentle slope marked X and the proposed lift above it. Lake of the Hanging Glacier is below. This is what is really there. X shows the gentle slope. In reality, a cliff a kilometer high, red line, the suicide lift, on top of the moving ice. Picture at the base of the cliff, meant to give scale, these fast-moving glaciers are riddled with crevasses, from small that can be stepped over, to massive, which could swallow skiers and lifts, and at higher elevations can be bridged with snow. This crevasse is above the Lake of the Hang Glacier. As the glacier slides down the mountain, massive chunks fall. This is a cubic acre of ice falling a kilometer. Width of the splash is 200 meters. Ice cliff above is the location of the proposed suicide lift. We will examine Commander Glacier next. A refresher look at the topo map. Commander Glacier circled. To the right is Farnham Glacier, also part of the White Elephant proposal. It is accessed by the gondola and is 8 to 10 kilometers from the village. 
The myth of summer skiing on the glaciers was disproved by the national ski team that trained on Farnham Glacier. Conditions, either slush or ice, resulted in abandoning summer skiing. The team trains in Chile. A view of the Commander Glacier with the gondola route along the skyline, servicing the ski lifts. With one exception, they are all built on moving crevassed ice. With all these lifts and the gondola, any failure strands the skiers. This view shows terminus of Commander Glacier with Commander Mountain above. Does it look skiable? This photo shows the lower expanse of Commander Glacier with the ski lifts built on moving ice. Crevasses everywhere. One of thousands of Commander crevasses. Upper Commander showing snow-covered ice. Crevasses are bridged with snow. Looking up Commander Glacier to Karnak Mountain 1, Jumbo 2, Guardsman 3, and Commander Mountain number 4. Another view of the Upper Commander from Mount May, the next mountain north of Commander Mountain. Here we are at 11,000 feet, showing gondola route along the skyline. Least number of crevasses, but too flat to ski. Karnak Mountain on the right, Jumbo Mountain with proposed suicide ski lift, Commander Mountain in the forefront, picture from Mount May. View of the Lake of the Hang Glacier from Commander Mountain, suicide lift shown. During debate in the legislature, February the 5th, 2013, MLA Bill Bennett, chief proponent of the White Elephant, said people would come from all over the world to ride the gondola to Jumbo Mountain and look down on the Lake of the Hanging Glacier. Sorry, Bill, you can't see the lake from Jumbo. View of the Lake of the Hanging Glacier from Mount May, Glacier Dome above the lake. Looking down Jumbo Valley to the village, this is winter ski area. Snow, not ice. Notice a dozen avalanche paths intersecting proposed ski runs and ski lifts. This valley faces south with all proposed runs facing southwest and is buffeted by the prevailing wind. Worst possible ski conditions. This is from the promotional material. It snows a lot, but is always sunny. Cognitive dissidence. 5,500 vertical feet. Not if you're skiing, only if you're on a hang glider. Winter view of Commander Glacier with crevasses hiding under snow. Most dangerous time. Falling through is quite a surprise. High elevation snow is beautiful, but not benign. Promotional vision of the community. Notice the avalanche path highlighted blue. Who is going to build all the infrastructure? water, sewage, streets, etc. Any other land speculator has to build everything to government standards before a lot is sold. But the government has made this remote valley into a resort municipality with an appointed town council. They may build it all with municipal grants. We will construct the white elephant with taxpayers' money. The first quarter million of taxpayers' money is already squandered. This steel girdered bridge was on a concrete abutment. You don't negotiate with avalanches. So what to do? Stopping the white elephant would result in lawsuits. Revoking the resort municipality status and forcing the proponent to cover all the costs. Cost of the highway, water and sewage, power lines, streets and sidewalks. And there will be no white elephant for the white elephant did not take into account avalanches, crevasses, infrastructure on moving ice, skier access and safety, slope aspect. Indeed, they even have the village in the wrong valley. I don't believe this is a serious proposal. Does it appear feasible or desirable to build gondola towers on this spectacular knife-edged ridge, the summit of Karnak Mountain?